My name is Leanne Sherrod. I'm a speech language pathologist and the president and chief clinical officer here at Expressible. Thank you for joining me to learn all about apraxia of speech and how you can support someone who has this condition. Apraxia can be a tricky disorder to diagnose. If you or someone you love is suspected to have apraxia of speech, you should see a speech therapist for an evaluation. A speech language pathologist, also referred to as a speech therapist, has a master's degree in speech language pathology and is licensed in their practicing state as well as nationally. They've earned credentials that enable them to assess and diagnose this disorder. Let's take a look at the evaluation and diagnosis process for a proxy of speech. During the speech evaluation, the therapist will talk with the client to get to know them better. This is also an opportunity for the therapist to informally assess the client's speech, how it sounds, how easily they can communicate, and any issues that stand out. The evaluation will include an oral motor exam. The speech therapist will assess the person's lips, tongue, jaw, and palate to ensure that the structure, strength, functional mobility, and non-speech movements all look normal. The speech therapist will also perform a cranial nerve examination, especially with adults. This consists of having the person complete different actions to identify if the correlating cranial nerve is working properly. If the speech therapist sees any weakness or structural abnormalities, like a tongue tie, this could be contributing to the speech issues and apraxia may not be present. This is just one reason why a thorough and comprehensive evaluation is so important. The speech therapist will likely administer an articulation test to assess how the person produces all consonants and vowels. The test may be given a couple of times to evaluate a client's performance from one testing experience to another. Remember, one of the hallmark characteristics of a proxy of speech is inconsistent errors. Multiple attempts during testing can help a speech therapist catch these inconsistent productions. For example, a child may say the word butterfly one way the first time and another way the next time. The speech therapist will also ask a client or caregiver to complete a packet of questions relating to medical and developmental history. This can be a key part of making an apraxia diagnosis, so it's important for the person completing it to be as thorough as possible. For someone with apraxia, a diagnosis is necessary in order to get the correct type of speech treatment. A speech therapist will create a specific care plan once the testing is complete. So if you or someone you know is suspected to have apraxia, don't wait to have an evaluation. The sooner this happens, the sooner speech therapy can begin.